Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we're going to claim Never because that was our mission. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. We still have them as a rival. Yes, we do. England has us as a rival. I don't know why, England. You know, we can be friends. And we're also improving relations with Denmark. I would like to be an ally of theirs, but um, before we do that, I want to get the next idea group because the next idea group will be uh, diplomacy. And that way we can have two extra relations, which would be very nice. Uh, how goes our little buddy-buddy program in Tuscany? Pretty good. Pisa? Pisa, Pisa, Pisa. Please to be clicking. Oh, Pisa's at plus 200? Really? Oh, wow. So we can definitely vassalize them today. But again, it's a situation of we have too many relationships right now. And, well, I kind of want to get some annexations going. Like, we can start the annexation of Provence real soon here. So why don't we do that? Come back from uh, Scotland. We're okay up there for now. And let's kiss Provence butt. Come on. There you go. Smoochy, smoochy. And then we have to wait a few months before we can start. Okay. Mom looks to clear war on head jaws. That's fine. Please to be give me buttons. Thank you. Okay. About 10 months. So one year we can start the annexation down there. Oh god, this is going to finish before. <sighs> I can always kick my statesman. Nah, I won't. Ooh, free stability. Or tradition. No, we don't need the tradition. I'll take the stability. I like stability. And we can take the last defensive idea group. Yay! Less land attrition. That's pretty powerful. Less attrition? Who doesn't want less attrition, right? Austria's still friendly. Castile, nice and friendly. Portugal, what is that? Cordial? Cordial. Scotland, friendly. Poland, friendly. Good. Santiam wants access. I don't know why you need access through France, but okay. Sure. Naxos wants access. Or Bosnia wants access. What? You're at war with Milan. Why, why is Bosnia at war with Milan? The Byzantine reconquest of Naxos? What does Byzantium attacking Naxus have to do with Milan? Well, Naxus is allied with Milan. Really? Why are you allied with Milan? I don't know. Don't know. Wow, Tuscany's involved? Why you guys are allied with Milan? Ah, <laughs> that's so weird. Okay, goodbye, Brittany. Bye, Brittany. Nice knowing you. Really? But you're gone now. So we say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Okay. Hmm. I guess I could tech up, but no, we'll wait. One more year. Don't want to do it early. All right, we got a claim on Nevere. That was our mission, so that's nice. Another conquest on Burgundy, but we have a truce. Oh, no, we don't. Our truce is up. Well, let's uh, start another claim on uh, Charolais. And then we can go to war. Charolais. Bingo. Now, you have no allies, right? You have Thuringia, Cologne, Cle... Ooh, you have Bohemia! Fun! Bohemia is a fun as is a fun enemy. Alright, uh, Burgundy, you're sitting on 24,000. And you are a tech 8. It means you're a tech ahead of us, right? Yes, you are. Perfect. Let's go to war. Oh, I have to wait until the 13th. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Boom, 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 boom. 
Oh, I need to start the annexation of Provence first. Oh, but we're 162 points away. Even with a gift? Alright, it can wait, because that's going to take 15 months. Well, this war will probably take 15 months. Nah, I don't want to sit around and wait. Target of the Coalition of Holland. I like the sound of that. We could do a coalition war. Ah. Okay. Everyone's going to join us again. Yes, I know. And I know. Oh, that's right, I forgot to claim Cassiel's throne. But I guess we can do it during war, can't we? Yeah, we can wait. Let's go claim Castile's throne. Lol. Oh, Bohemia did not join. <gasps> Bohemia dishonored. Lol. Alright, claim Castile's throne. Take that, Castile. Yep. Oh, I, I, I want to hug them now. Wow, we went down 70 points. Yep, they used their royal marriage as a pretext to claim our throne. Negative 100. So I should go kiss-kiss for a while down there, because that's um, pretty brutal. Even Austria felt that, didn't they? Negative 50. So it's negative 100 against the country you used it on, and then negative 50 against everyone else you have a marriage with. Wow, even my vassals? No, my vassals. No, my vassals do care. Odd. No, oh, whatever. Okay, we have a claim on Castile's throne now. That's nice. Uh, where's my general? Oh, it's my king, right? Yeah, it's my king. Cool. Oh, right, we have to go siege up the target province. Derp. Let's go do that before I forget. Because I will forget. Hungary is at war with Bosnia? Over what? Hungary's at war with Serbia. Oh, psh. one province minor. No one cares. All right, so the target province is Navarre, and we are also fabricating a claim on Charolais, which will progress during the war. So we'll be available to get it cheap in the, in the peace deal. You can't do it during the war. You can't start the fabrication during the war, but if you start it before the war, then it will tick, it will progress during the war. Very nice. All right, let's get you out of there. Move you in. He's bringing some douchebags. So let's see if he wants to play. Looks like the answer is no. He changed his mind. Don't want to play. All right. Oh, now he wants to play. Fine, I'll slow down time. AI, this is very annoying. It's not a good ploy. He marches. We march as well. He stops. So we stop. And then he marches again. So we march as well. And then he stops. So we stop. And then he marches again. And then we march again. And then he stops again. And then we stop again. And it repeats ad nauseum. It's not a good ploy, AI. I don't know why the AI always does this. Just go somewhere else. If you don't want to fight, go somewhere else. There's no point doing this. You look like a tool. In fact, you are a tool. So stop being a jerk. Stupid AI. England, leave him alone.
All right, King, do me proud. Good job, King. You are the man. Or something. Oh, look at him run. Really disappointed that Bohemia didn't join this war, but what are you gonna do? All right, let's go kiss kiss because you know still want them to be friendly, right? Where you going, bro? I have cookies. There he is. Gotcha, bitch. Now what? What? Wow, we are getting slaughtered. I mean, this is not even close. We have tons of morale, and that's why we're going to win, but we're losing so many units here. My king is not a good general. He's a 301 general. And this early in the game, fire, which is the first number three, means nothing. It's all about shock in this game, in the beginning in Das Beginnings. So we have a general that's not suited to the beginning of the game, unfortunately. He's suited to the later game. Why do I use full stacks for sieging instead of carpet sieging? Because his army is still wandering around, and I want to fight his army. And if you're carpet sieging, you can't really fight his army properly unless you have, you know, billions of troops to where you can carpet siege and have an army ready to fight. I can't do both. I can do one or the other. So I do one or the other. That is why. Ah, those losses. This king, he rolls zero like all the time and one. Ah, why must you roll zero and one so much, king? And now he really is running, probably all the way to Oisperson, or Osnabrück. Osnabrück. I'm gonna go replenish a bit. And Hungary next to Serbia. All right, Charlotte is good to go. Let's roll up to Artois. Squish that army. Good, good. Move back. Steel's fighting very well against Burgundy. Wow.
That's kind of amusing. So, Castile, how many units do you have at the moment? Hmm, 22,000 with 16,000 manpower, and I'm sitting at 47,000 with 17,000 manpower. Hmm. Kind of think this might be a good time to go to war with Castile for that throne. Although Aragon does still have 22k, and Naples... Oh, forget Naples, they have like one army. Yep, Castile, you go wear yourself out. It's fun up there, isn't it? Go ahead, Aragon, you go wear yourself out too. Oh, I wish I had better manpower recovery. 638 per month is so bad. Like, super bad. Wow, they got Tech 9. What did you take for your idea groups? Religious and export. That's why they have Tech 9. Yep, 779. Hmm. Free Diplo. Who wants hugs? Uh, Portugal could use a little. Austria could use a little. Everyone could use a little, but nobody is that bad. I wonder if they like Castile more than me, friends. Oh, they love Castile. Castile and Portugal are like super duper butt buddies. God damn it. Oh, England is a Trostamara. Interesting. Yeah, let's see if we can't boost that all the way up. And that way, we um, when we go to war with Castile, maybe they'll join our side. You know, why not? Maybe. Wouldn't that be nice? One thing we could do is start another war. Uh, maybe down here? Maybe against... Um, no, we don't have we don't have the range to get a war against them. I need to start a war that Portugal will join. They joined the war against Scotland for some reason. Probably because it's a defensive war. They're more likely to join. Oh, there they are. All three of them taking attrition. Very nice. I approve. Good strategy. Wow, look at our freaking manpower. Get a manpower recovery, dude. Reinforce manpower. There is no manpower recovery? Damn, I really need a manpower recovery guy. Hmm. Because we are really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Oh, here comes Burgundy, and Castile is running away. Oh. Oh, don't run away. Oh, he's fighting Austria. Oh, Castile wants to fight him. Get him, Castile. Get him, Castile. Yes. You go use up all your dudes. Sounds like a plan. Ah, <laughs> lovely. Lovely. Wow, we're getting 10 Diplo points a month. Are we still ahead on time? No. Okay. And this one? Good. Okay, one more admin tech. 
and we can get an, get an idea group for diplomacy. That'll be nice. Is it wrong that I'm really, really enjoying watching Castile do all the work and take all the losses? <laughs> and I'm going to sit back and get my manpower back up. Because that's the kind of man I am. Where are you, Castile? Oh, they actually have 10,000 manpower. Look at them. And Aragon's sitting on zero manpower. Okay. And they're marching in more. Yep, they're going after Aragon. I mean, they're going after Burgundy again. No, they're not. They're standing there sieging with me. Great. Let's take attrition together. I've only got three dudes there. You have like a, a thousand. I mean, three thousand or ten thousand. Mm, how much would a gift be? Not much. Let's give them 125 bucks. Uh, secure that relationship. And let's make sure Austria joins our side in the war as well. I mean, they're not allied with Castile or anything, but still. Okay, so when can we start annexing Provence? Uh, 8 plus 25, 32 points away, 16 months, a year and a half. A year and a half we can start annexing them. So we'll hold on to this war for a year and a half. And hopefully Castile will burn through a lot of its... It already is burning through manpower. So hopefully that'll continue. Continue? Aragon has no manpower. And Naples just pretend they don't exist. They have like one army. Oh, get out of there, Poland. What the hell, dude? That shit's mine, dog. Bro. How many points can I have? 102. All right, I'm not at max yet. We're close to max, though, so that means I might want to invest in this douche. But that would use all of our points, so let's not. At least not yet. Fight there. Fight him, Aragon. Castile, you better go help. Go on, Castile, go help your ally. Come on. Castile's got better things to do. <laughs> He's like, fuck my vassal. Who cares if they lose all their units? Man, Castile, you cut through. Well, at least Naples is going over there. No, they're not. Naples is sieging. Ha! Ah. I thought Naples was going to go help their ally, but they're not. Uh. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Hansa is getting invaded by Pomerania. What the hell? How did the Hansa lose a war to Pomerania? What? How? And Scotland? How is the Hansa and Scotland losing to Brandenburg and Pomerania? That makes no sense. The economy of these two guys is crap compared to the Hansa. Wow. Well, not crap, but not as good. No, well. <laughs>
All right, looks like they want to chase Aragon's army around. Good. Here comes Castile with twenty, with, I mean, with thirteen thousand more. Go get him, Castile. French pretender rebel. Oh, I thought someone was going to kill them for me. I didn't want to fight them. Ugh. So lazy. There you go. Kill them and then come back. Yes, go get him, Castile. Nice. Yes, Castile's fighting. Good. And we're getting manpower back. Yay! What's the war about? Um, we we got claims on Nevers and Charolais, so we're going for those. But mainly the war is because the the Bizan not the Bizan the Burgundian king never died. And it's an event that's supposed to give half of their land to France and half of the land to Austria. Well, more than half to Austria. It's supposed to split up their lands between France and Austria, but he never fucking died. I mean, we went to war with him so many times, he just wouldn't keel over. So now we're just claiming stuff and going in by force. It's really annoying to have to do that, though. All right, they're dead. Can we siege this back? Oh, it's automatically gone. Okay. And so right now, what we're doing is we're letting our allies, Castile, uh, Aragon, and Naples, we're letting them fight Burgundy, so we don't have to. And doing this is really raping their ability to fight us later on. Uh, Castile has no manpower anymore. Aragon has... Um, there they are. Aragon has, like, no military at all. And Naples has nothing either. So it's down to Castile's 26,000... But they have no manpower to back it up. So we're looking pretty good with 65,000 and some manpower. And the reason why we're doing that is we have claimed Castile's throne. So we have a wonderful Casus Belli. Where is it? There it is. Claim on throne on Castile. So we're going to do that as soon as this war with Burgundy is over. But I'm going to let Castile burn a few more troops over there in Burgundy. Because we would like them to be as weak as possible. Anyway, we're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time where we'll be piecing out of Burgundy and declaring war on Cat Steel for the thrones of Castile, Aragon, and Naples. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.